Mr. Anyu. Thank you very much. Um, our House of Lords in the United Kingdom had a, a, a debate and discussion on this, and evidence presented to them suggested that sectors that have not benefited historically from direct payments are better prepared to operate in world agricultural markets. And the pig and the poultry sectors, along with the horticultural sector, were ahead of other sectors in terms of having business knowledge and recording systems to understand their production costs. They are market focused, produced, producing for a defined market in close collaboration with their supply chains. It is all about markets. Now, public policy should not aim to control prices, but to help farmers develop resilience to manage the risks. The point is that governments should really only be thinking in terms of helping to overcome catastrophic and extreme events on farms, such as floods or drought, and not meddling in pricing or controlling supply and demand. One-off support packages can help to counter the impact of extreme natural disasters or catastrophic events that are beyond individual farmers' control. However, the 2015 dairy support package, for example, after endless discussion, etc., resulted in a payment of just £1,500 to each UK dairy farmer. Really, that is just tokenism. Farmers have always been willing and able to expand production to match increasing demand. A willingness to recognise that there is too much milk is now required.